have an education plan right here that I'm going to submit immediately. We've had spaces in our state where we've had over 600 teacher vacancies, places where there's not even a qualified teacher in our state to teach our children. It's going to be the elimination of a bunch of unnecessary agencies. It's going to be a look at education in a different way that has never been looked at for a long, long, long time. I really admire the governor admitting that, that you know, the folks on the local level are the experts. I want to restore hope and planning and decency and respect and listening back to you. He has been very, very specific to us in the State Board of Education about making sure that we restore local decision making as much as possible. Education is kind of the cornerstone of everything. It's how our state moves forward. It's how our country moves forward. Our teachers, like it or not like it, are underpaid. Now, we've got to do something about it. When you have 727 positions last year without a certified teacher in them, it's a direct reflection on the pay and the benefits that we're receiving. And he very clearly knows that they need, needed a pay increase this past legislative session. And I watched him bulldog that, spearhead that initiative. But there was a little kid, sixth grader, his name was Gideon. He looked at me in one of the town hall meetings and said, Governor, why can't you look at education as an investment in me to where I can become a smart person and come back to West Virginia or stay in West Virginia and do great things? The governor called us in on a Monday and asked what we needed. We came up with the 5%. Uh, he came back and said, absolutely 5%. We're not going to waver on that. This is an investment in West Virginia in the biggest and most profound way. The, the key component to this was making an investment in education. So not only should it be our centerpiece, but it should be something that we invest in. The governor says that he wants to make education the centerpiece of economic development. And that's the way to have economic prosperity, is to have the best education system. If we could create an education mecca in West Virginia, Honest to pe people would come and you couldn't beat them away. It would be a revenue producer. I believe the governor will continue with the investment in education and salaries and making them competitive. We'll find the money in, in the budget to be able to do that. We're showing some economic growth in West Virginia and we may continue that investment in education. You know, the governor has said many times he's a teacher. A lot of people know that he coaches, but he's a teacher. And he loves teachers, and he loves teachers in West Virginia. I have heard a lot of students who are graduating that say, I feel like I can stay in West Virginia now. We are making an investment in education, and I can stay here, stay home. I fell in love with the people here. I fell in love with my job, and I've been here ever since, and I'm never leaving. I'm going to be a West Virginia resident for life.